Hey guys, Cardboard Box Productions here. Welcome back to another episode of Epic Mickey. In the last episode, we got here to Bog Easy, and we helped out uh, Meat Tree and uh, and Bertrand and Lewis. And this episode, we will be heading off to Lonesome Manor, where the next rocket piece lies. So, anyway, yeah. Oh, speaking of anyway, I think I might have actually, um, I don't know this for sure, but I think I might have, um, made the, uh, made it the entire, um, episode last time. I don't remember for sure, but I think I might have made it the entire episode last time without saying it anyway. <laughs> you know, like, I've been, like, at the end of this Let's Play, like, um, uh, maybe someone could, like, make a counter of how many episodes I don't say anyway, and it's probably gonna be, like, less than ten. Ha! Get off my book! Ah, possess this book. Fly me up high. Okay. Ow! Jeez, you don't need to throw stuff at people just because you don't like them. Again, this is lonesome ghosts, not violent ghosts. Okay, good. Okay, good. I think... Okay, good, I'm on the right side. Just because I wanted to do, um... Because there's a film reel over here, and I wanted to get it. Well, obviously I wanted to get it. I mean, why would I not want to get a film reel? It's like... Because, I mean... Because, I mean, like, the film reels give you rewards for getting them. So, anyway, here we are at Lonesome Manor. Ooh, it, it, Admittedly, from the outside, this place looks really cool. Gus? Gus! This place scares me, but at least the lightning stopped. It looks simple to get in, just a, a stroll through the a graveyard, right? Admittedly, quest added. Enter Lonesome Manor. Admittedly, the best one of my favorite parts of um Lonesome Manor is the outside area, just because like, in my opinion, it looks really cool. So anyway, um. So, we got an anvil. Whoa! When and you depress this platform, those islands rise up from the thinner. Must be part of some old ride. At least it will help us get across, eh? Yeah, I actually forgot that last playthrough, so I just... Because, like, it's impossible without those to make it across without taking a hit. You can easily make it across, but you're gonna have to take a hit or two. Uh, here we have some Splodusha's enemies that were way tougher in the sequel. Poor Uncle Dwight was changing the light when he had a shocking idea. What's this say? Cousin Alex lies beneath the ground. The spectre behind him made no sound. Yeah. Mr. Jones, master of the chase, challenged the reaper, but lost the race. Uncle Joe thought he was a bird, took a step off a ledge, and now he's interred. Don't know what interred means, probably something bad. Cousin Ethan enjoyed his capers, pulled one too many, and made the papers. Back here, we have a little treasure chest. Okay, so, um, we had that anvil fall down again. Um, remember back at Mickey Junk Mountain when, like, 
sort of foreshadowed the sketches, how we, like, had, um, that, uh, the, um, TVs that you turn on to power the crane and you, the clock that slowed down time. And we also had the anvil that pushed down things. Well, I think you know what's coming. Um, old Uncle Hoffman built his own coffin in which he could lay. He couldn't afford the wood, so he made it out of clay. Rest in peace, dear Uncle Nate, who would have foreseen your twisted fate. That's one that I always remember. Ah! Mickey, it's the Mad Doctor! You! You're the guy who's been tearing apart all the animatronic, animatronic friends and forcing me to grind to no end. I've heard about you stumbling about in Wasteland. I like this guy a lot more in the second game. You will regret the day you found me, Mickey Mouse. This is as far as you'll get. My defenses will keep you out. It looks like you left something behind. What do you think it is? Basically, so like, we had these TVs that would power the things, and we had the t clock that slowed on time, and we've got sketches for both of those that, that do the same thing. Rolf was once here, but is no more. The log arm of the law, even the score. Her rooftop rocker, too close to the ledge, sent to her Aunt, Aunt Wendy over the edge. The brothers J. Builders Renown built the graveyard that they lay in the ground. Yeah, so anyway, up. Now, uh... Um, Sorry for a bit of silence there. Anyway, um, it won't budge. We're going to need something really heavy, Mickey. Anvil heavy. Oh, look, there's a treasure chest. Look out! Yep, it's a trap. So anyway, um... Yet, yeah, there was also anvils at Mickey Junk Mountain. Yet, we haven't gotten a sketch for those. And it's anvil heavy. Hint, hint, wink, wink. I almost spoiled it and... The Tortuga episode. I bet if we would have taken, he would have taken that uh, chest if you hadn't scared him off. He's scared of Mickey. I swear. Why does everyone think Mickey is so scary? And it's a, it's a, OMG, an anvil sketch. Well, this is a weight off my mind. You found an anvil sketch. Nice pun there. How many times have you said to yourself, what could I do right now with even one anvil? Remove opponents. Trigger pressure plates. Climb. Scroll through your sketches with the plus button. To activate a sketch, press the minus button. The sketches at least don't weigh anything, but the anvils... Oh. Swell, I wonder if those were sent to chase us off. Probably. Sweepers, I hate you later in the game. Yeah, as you can see, like, a, the enemy's eyes are red now. How, as opposed to, like, I think it starts, like, after... Like, I think it starts in Tortuga. The enemy's eyes and mouth, the bot league's eyes and mouth start, um, turning red. As opposed to green. That just means they're more difficult. Like, they're stronger, have more attack power. Oh! Stupid watch sketch. I used up a watch sketch. Really. And I, I use it to... I keep using every sketch I have except the one I need. Okay. That's an anvil sketch. Nice work. That anvil jammed to the button. It should keep the door open for good. Let's go. 
Enter Lonesome Man. Okay, so I think I am going to be entering Lonesome Manor in the next episode. So anyway, I'm Carver Box Prep. Well, technically I entered it in this episode, but I mean in the projector screen. I'll enter it in the next episode. See you guys then.